Start with the Mustard C70 size 4 uh, salt water hook. And we'll put a bit of tine thread in the centre of the hook shaft here. This has been a very effective pattern for me for sea trait in salt water. But there's no reason why it shouldn't work in fresh water. So just a small amount of tying thread. Then what we have is two yellow grizzle hackles and we place these back to back one each side of the hook shank. We can get these on, there we go. And it needs to be about so long. So we can just tack these in. Let's make sure they're in the right position. Those will do. Okay, and we can remove those. Like so. Tie those down. Go back up here. Then what we need is a barred marabou for the skirt. Now this should cover see a bit too much. I have to pull that a bit further down. That will do is about there. Tie in that. Just have a look. Yeah that's good. And we can remove that. And then we take one more. I like to use the ones with the very fine points uh, on these. So bit too long. There we go. Tie that one in. So, remove that, now we can just go through that to secure it properly. <clears throat> then what I like to do is just take a drop of flue goo and put that on just to secure everything. A little bit underneath as well, that'll do this. make some wrappings here. Forcing that cement a little bit too much there. There we are. Now we go up here and now we can take a small bunch of stacked brown deer hair we want this for the collar so we take one bunch first and we'll hold that there a couple of times out and tighten that's the one side of the collar and we'll take another bunch this is cleaned and stacked as well so we we'll just measure that yeah so We'll tie that in there, that's good. Secure it, go through the hair like so. Good, and then we can go forward in front of the hair, bend everything back, pack it together. Then we want to go about there and make a little notch. That annoying. Make a little notch, a stop notch of tying thread, just about there. That'll do us. Maybe a little bit more. It's quite a big bead I'm putting on for the eyes. 
I don't want that going forward. And there's and we go behind that. Then we take a bead chain eye and we place that behind the notch we've just done. Pull it into position. Tie this in with a figure of eight. Like so. Then what we need is a drop more flugaloo. I'll put that on there. And we'll put a drop on the underside as well. And then we can you can use super glue here but cement will do. This is going to be packed in so tightly with the deer hair. There we go. Then move the tying thread back again behind the eyes. So we take a, another bunch of deer hair and I want to put this in behind the eyes. Make sure it spins. Yeah, we're all right there. And then we'll go in front of the eyes. And we want to tie this in. Don't want that one there. In front of the eyes. There we are. Then we can bend or fold everything back. And tie this off. with a whip finish. And give it another one. There we are. I'll remove the tying thread. Excellent. Now toothbrush, brush everything out, and everything back. Then we'll take our razor blade. really important that you don't overuse your razor blades. They must stay sharp. They won't work if they're not sharp. And you're very much relying on a clean cut. Hold these last ones up. So, so far, then we can just sort it out a little bit evener with the lighter. Just brush off the
And that's it. That's the finished Gobi.